President Jonathan Nez of the Navajo Nation was one of five tribal leaders invited to meet with Biden and Harris today. And Nez says that the two gave their word that tribes would have a seat at the table if they're elected. They are serious about assisting and empowering tribal communities throughout the country now. On Thursday, Democratic presidential candidates Joe Biden and Kamala Harris making a pit stop in Phoenix to meet with tribal leaders. What we stated to them is really some of the priorities that the Navajo Nation is going through right now. The need for infrastructure, the need for broadband, telecommunication, water, uh, and electricity. Harris and Biden also commending the Navajo Nation for their response to the COVID-19 pandemic. They say that the Navajo Nation is and could be a model for how to manage, if you want to say that, this virus in, in regional in regional ways. And the 2020 election is heating up in the Navajo community. While Nez is openly endorsing Biden and Harris, Navajo Vice President Myron Lizer is endorsing President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. You know, the Republicans now are starting to warm up to the uh, Native American uh, initiatives and all of the cares and concerns. Lizer says Trump is one of the first presidents to elevate the issue of missing and murdered indigenous women. It's something we'll continue to advocate for and help uh, whoever's in office, you know, uh, keep it high, keep it in sight and in your mind. And for Lizer and Nez, it doesn't matter what party you're siding with, as long as the concerns of the Navajo people are met. It's all by relationship. We need both sides working together for the benefit of those in the Southeast to be Navajo Reservation. Lizer and Nez both participated in Biden and Harris's bus tour yesterday. Cindy McCain was also present at today's meeting. Reporting in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. President Nez says Arizona may be able to get an extra congressional representative for their state, so they're encouraging everyone to get out and vote.